So a question was asked to me last week that wanted to know how to arrange a list view database from Monday to Sunday. That's it. Just whatever week you're in, it automatically shows Monday to Sunday. And I thought that a simple filter would make this work. It turns out there is a little bit of a workaround needed for this to happen. And from there, of course, I went down a rabbit hole and created a whole dashboard for daily documents, which I'm going to show you in this video. This dashboard is a pre-filled dashboard. So what I did was I just pre-filled a database with every day of the year. So I don't have to go in and create a new daily document every single day and give it a title. I'm going to show you how I did that. I'm also going to show you how I arranged this database into a daily view so that today's entry today's date always shows up in this view a weekly view with monday through sunday and also a monthly and yearly view so yeah let's just get right into it so at the top left hand corner i have the today section and this is a linked database to the main daily journal database that is filtered to just show the item or the daily document that is today. Today is March 14th, so that's what's showing here. I also have the weekday. This is going to be a formula. The next thing over to the right is the progress bars. This is a database that I made, I'd say a couple months ago, and I put this on Twitter. It did pretty well. I'm actually really uh, proud of this one. This is probably my favorite thing I've ever made in Notion. It is a progress bar that shows you the progress of the day, the week, the month, and the year. So this is something you can totally get in widgets. In fact, I'll leave a link down below for widgets from indify.co um, that can pretty much do the same thing. So I have this tucked away at the top right hand corner and then below that I have this week. So this week view is going to be all of the daily documents this week. Filter options for dates are pretty limited. I'll show you why. So if I go to date is and I want to only show this week starting Monday and ending on Sunday, I'd have to say the date is on or after March um, 8th, which is the last Monday, and the date is on or before the exact date of today, which is Sunday. And that's a pain and wouldn't be automatic. I'd have to change it every single week. So what I want to do instead is create a, um, a formula that's going to help me automate this weekly view in list format. And I also have these checkboxes that are going to tick off as the days go by. This is more of an aesthetic choice. Um, we're going to have this formula do that. The next thing down is what's going to be the monthly view. So this is a pretty classic, easy um, solution to finding a monthly view in Notion. And that is just the calendar. The calendar is set up to allow you to flip through each month with these arrows over here. And that's just going forward slash calendar. Down here at the bottom, I wanted to put these in toggles. The thing is, if I put every single um, day of the year inside of one page without putting them in toggles, it would take a good amount of time. Not forever, but it will be kind of laggy loading the Notion page. So I put them in toggles in three different toggles, one for January to April, one for May to August, and one for September to December. So I have January, February, and March and April in two different columns, and I can see this with the entire year. So this is my preferred way to look at a year view um, in a dashboard, which is in this gallery view. So there's two different um, views going on here. I also have calendar view and I'll show you how that looks. This is a bit more traditional of a, a view. I can go in and change all these views for each month. Now I'm gonna show you how I quickly pre-filled all of these entries with every day of the year. So let's say we're starting with this inline table. I'm gonna make it full width with just a date property and a name property. So what you're gonna do is go to Google Sheets or Excel. What I'm going to do inside of any empty cell is just a 1 slash 1 slash 21, which is the beginning of the year. Of course, you can start on any day of the year that you want. Drag 
this little um, square here and I'm just gonna drag it all the way down to 365. So now that I have every single date already populated, I'm gonna click that first cell, just go Command A to highlight all of them. Go into date, click out, make sure that cell is blue and it's the first one and just paste it all in. Now, if your Notion database tells you this is far too large and you should import it instead, what I ended up doing was just copying half of the year and then pasting and then just copying the other half. And now what I wanna do in date is just sort this ascending. So January is first. Now I just wanna make sure that all of these uh, document names are also the date. First, you could just copy the date column by dragging down and then pasting it. The only thing with this is I don't really like how this looks. I don't like the one slash one. So I actually wanna format this first. I'm gonna create a formula, format date of property date and make sure it's formatted the way you want it to be formatted just want sort of the classic month day year and then from here copy and paste it to the side here so it takes a little bit of time but it's not nearly as much time as like manually putting in every single date for the whole year so let's start with the daily view what i have in the daily view is simply just the day of the week Remember, I have the day of the week there and just the day. Inside of this weekday formula, let's find the weekday. So again, we're gonna use format date, look at property date, format date as three or sorry, four lowercase d's. And you'll get the weekday. Now, if I wanna add that cute emoji at the beginning, that uh, calendar emoji, I'm just gonna put these quotes at the front Go find the calendar emoji, put a space after it. And now we have the weekday. If I go back, let's look at how this is filtered. So firstly, how do you make a linked database? What I did here is I went forward slash linked database and I just searched for that main database called daily journal. And I went in and I formatted it. You're gonna get a lot of crazy stuff in here. Actually, first I made a view that was list view, so it's a bit simpler. And then I went in and formatted it. I filtered it to just simply say, the date is today. And that's how I have that. Now, how I'm able to see that weekday is I'm going to properties and just making sure that weekday formula is toggled on. So how did I make this column? It is a little bit tricky to make these columns with databases. What you're basically going to do is just have two blocks above each other, grab one block and just slide it next to the first and you'll create these two columns. And then you can drag up a database into one column and another one into the next column. Okay, so let's look at the next view. So again, I am linking out a database to the daily journal and then doing a series of filters. What I figured was if I find the week number of a specific day, which you can do with a formula, we can start there. So I created this formula called current week question mark, and I'm just going to determine if right now matches the week that this date is in. You're going to use format date, property date, again to w now i'll give you the week number in regards to like the whole year so the first problem i see is that it is starting a week on a sunday i need this to start on a monday so the first thing i want to do is subtract a day date subtract find the date subtract to buy one days and then i'm going to format it Now the second week is starting on a Monday, the third week is starting on a Monday as well, and so on. So that's good. Now the next thing I wanna see is if right now the week I'm in matches the week this date is in. And with this checkbox, I'm gonna be able to filter that weekly view properly so that it is automatic. So I'm gonna say if this equals to equal signs. I'm just gonna copy this actually, this entire thing we, we just typed and I'm going to replace prop date with now. I want to have a true checkbox, if not make it false. 
All right, there we go. Let's go to this week. Um, let's just look at March and you'll see that all checked boxes, right now it is the 14th, all checked boxes are from Monday to Sunday. I'll be able to alter this filter and instead I'm gonna make the filter current week is checked. And it will give me everything from Monday to Sunday. And this will be automatic. I don't have to constantly replace that filter. Now, the next thing I wanna do is sort of that more aesthetic choice, which is checking all the boxes that are in the past. This is a pretty easy formula. We're gonna go into past date formula and write something like this. Firstly, if I wanna check today and in the past, you can do this. Now, this is if time isn't an equation and you just have the date, you can say, prop date is less than right now. If I go back to March, you'll see everything in the past. This is January is of course checked off now. And also today is checked off. But if you don't want today checked off until it is indeed the past, you're gonna do this. You're gonna add one day. So date add to property date, just one days. Now, if this is less than right now, we're gonna check it off. And you'll see that March 14th is now unchecked. This is something I prefer. Going back to that weekly view, let's see what happened. So inside of properties, I have past date checked on, and now I'll be able to see the progress of the whole week as it goes along. Now, similarly to the weekly view where you kind of can't just see what is this week, I also can't really see what is this month. So I'm gonna make a formula like I did before that simply just takes the month of the date, which is just formatting the date of date to the month. And that's just four capital M's. And then when I go back to this view, I can just create a filter that says the month contains January. And I'll be able to see filter month contains February in March, month contains March and so on. This is so much easier to make and deal with than those other filters. Another thing I noticed that may have changed um, from what I remember is that in calendar view, I remember that whenever I went in and reloaded a page, say you can see here that I've made sure that it only shows a January. Whenever I reloaded the page, it would go right back to the month I'm currently in, which right now would be March. But it seems, at least from my point of view and in my workspace, that when I go to reload these pages, the calendar view actually stays at the last month that I put it to. Now I wanna show you the last bit of this dashboard, which are those stickers. The first thing I wanna say is if the day of the date equals Wednesday, so Sunday starts at zero, Saturday is six, Wednesday would be three, then I want the sticker to be a pencil on paper. So I'm just gonna get my emojis up and find that. If it is not Wednesday, I just want it to be blank. Let's go over to an example of Wednesday. You'll see that these stickers do show up on all of the Wednesdays. Let's say every Sunday, I want to review the week. So let's put another sticker here, two parentheses at the end, because now there are two if statements. This is our false condition, which is just a single space. If these two above do not apply, let's say that this is Sunday. So it's Sunday starts at zero. If it is zero, I want the emoji to be a graph. Then you'll see all the Sundays are a graph and this little check mark is always tucked in at the lower left-hand corner, which I do like as well. And how I'm able to make that happen is this false condition, instead of being a single space or no space, is one space. And if I go back to my dashboard, like you saw at the beginning, all of my stickers do show up inside of my weekly view. And if I go to properties, I just toggled on stickers. 
And that's pretty much the entire uh, daily documents dashboard. I will, of course, leave links down below to duplicate this exactly. And yeah, let's just go right into the outro. What I'm going to do is leave this dashboard, of course, a link to it down below. And also all the formulas I went through, I'm going to put in a separate code boxes. So you can take a look at those separately if that's all you're interested in. Also, I'm going to have a separate link for those progress bars that I showed on the top right hand corner for like day, week, month, year progress. That is actually a separate link that I have in my template page that you can also duplicate alone. I will see you guys the rest of the week on Twitter and next Sunday with a new video. See you then. Thank you.